All right, y'all, so we're back here at Elevated AF, and today we get to build something even cooler than the mud truck. So we're always on the hunt for older farm trucks, usually the ones that aren't too beat up, and we found another one today, so we get to go pick that up, bring it back here, get to work on it, and we're going to be building a massive 6x6 six six lifted truck. It should be pretty cool. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. All right, so we got the PJ hooked up here to the Dirty Max. And uh, you guys might be able to see the showroom is looking pretty dang empty. But once we get back, I got some stuff around the back there that we can get to go put in there. And we got a bunch of new things that have never even been in the shop before. But we got a bit of a drive to go pick up this truck. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right. I think this is our turn right here. At least GPS is saying it is. And I think that's the truck right up there. Yeah, there it is. All right. Um, You know what? I'm just going to pull up on the side of the road here. All right. Let's go take a look at this thing. So I checked out the ad, and this is a 2017 Ford F450 Platinum. Got a really nice bumper on this thing. I love the bumper on it. It's got a winch, which I, I don't think we'll ever need a winch. We might actually take that off, but uh, we'll see. 6.7 Power Stroke. It's got a Radford built flatbed here. This thing, I don't know. So the reason why we wanted a truck with a flatbed is because when we're building the 6x6, it takes a completely custom new bed. So it was just easier to buy a flatbed and then we kind of have the chassis that we can extend. It's going to look pretty cool. And it's got some beefier tires on here and rims. They, these are all just going to get taken off. I like these uh, running boards. These are actually really nice. I just put them on my truck. At least the new one, the new shop truck. But I'm going to have to go see the owner there, see if I can take it for a little test drive and uh, see if we can come to a price if I like it, which I, I think I think it's going to work. This should, uh, this should do the trick. All right, I got the keys. Let's take this thing for a drive real quick. Let's take it for a drive around the block. See how it is. This thing is uh, definitely a farm truck, but it doesn't got too high K on it. So uh, it's still pretty well off for uh, being a build, I'm going to say. And it seems to uh, seems to drive good. No complaints. All right. I think uh, if we can come to a price on this thing, this may be our new truck. Well, we came to a price and I now own a 2017 Ford F450. Man, this is going to be a cool build. All right, uh, let's get the trailer unfolded here, and uh, we'll get this thing loaded up. Basically, once we get this thing back to the shop, it is going to be a complete teardown, top to bottom. We got so many parts coming for this thing. It's going to be such a crazy build. Strap it down here. There we go. All right, I think we're good. Old Duramax should be able to haul it. Also, not that I don't mind this original blue color, but uh, it's going to go. It is definitely going to go. We have uh, a better color in mind that's going to make this thing look a lot cooler. Anyway, I'll see you guys back at the shop. All right, we are back. You guys may see a little truck there. We'll get into that in a minute. There's a bunch of new stuff around the back there, but uh, the guys aren't even at the shop yet. It is early in the morning, and I'm already getting stuff done. But once they get back to the shop here, it's going to be pretty crazy getting this thing all ready to go. Got to get our shop door open here. Now, a lot of you guys were... Uh, wondering in the last episode because i had the 6.0 in the shop here and you guys were like are you already getting rid of it nope nope 6.0 is here to stay it was just getting a little bit of work done so we're kind of just using the duramax for uh temporary shop use all right let's get this thing backed off here we'll get it in the shop on the lift hold on am i gonna have to make that lift a little bit wider ah no we should just be perfect all right there we go this thing actually looks pretty similar to the truck that we uh took and built that massive white ford mud truck out of this one is a tad bit nicer, though. Let's lift it up here for the guys so they can get to tearing it down. Uh, they're going to have quite the job ahead of them. But, I mean, the truck looks pretty clean underneath, so uh, shouldn't be too bad. All right, we'll get this truck and trailer put away here, and then we'll head on back. And uh, we need to reorganize the showroom because uh, yeah, it's looking a little too empty at the moment here. But the parts for this new build only show up this afternoon, but uh, the guys are going to have a lot of work ahead of them. Tearing apart that truck and uh, getting it to where we can actually start getting those parts on. So, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. They should be here in like uh, 10 minutes or so. So it'll be the first time they get to see this thing. I haven't even told them about it. All right. So as you guys can see, we've got uh, quite the lineup. We got a big shipment of Polaris's in. Now, no, I'm not just dealing in Polaris's. We've got uh, a few more things that are coming in hopefully soon. But uh, the Polaris shipment got here first. We also had this little thing come in on trade in. I know. Pretty cool. So this was the second Duramax that we bought. A couple of weeks ago, we bought two stock Duramaxes and uh, the red one over there, that one we did up. And then this one is the all white build. Got pretty much everything color matched. I mean, of course we did the black rims and stuff, but uh, yeah, this thing is quite the build. We wanted to put it out in the showroom. And then this is a GMC, all lifted and such in kind of the uh, army green-ish color. This came in on another trade-in. So uh, yeah, it's going to be 
interesting to see if this thing sells. We've already had the guys go through it in the shop there, and uh, it's perfectly good so we can put it out in the showroom. But this little truck right here, this is one of my employees' trucks. Uh, they're working on it. They're probably going to put a lift on it and stuff. It says V8. Ram 1500 V8, but uh, they come and swapped it. This thing literally has a Cummins in it. You know what? I bet he left the keys in it. Let's start it up. There you go. Sounds like a Cummins. And then if you pop the hood here, it's got a Cummins engine in it. So this thing's quite the little beast. All right. So where are we going to move all this stuff? We cleared a bunch of the uh, sold ATVs and UTVs out. Uh, this one was built for a customer. This one sold. This one has not sold yet. Um, the other Ranger here, this one did sell. This was a custom build we did. And then this one as well. This was a custom build. The guy comes to pick it up sometime this week here so it can stay in the showroom for a little bit longer and so can everything else here but uh we're gonna have to do a bit of moving around so we got a razor here we'll get this thing put in man this razor actually matches up quite nice to this gmc i'll have to tell the guy hey you want to you want to buy a nice razor pair with your gmc look pretty good and the little yamaha banshee i don't know this, uh, i don't even know if we're gonna put this thing out in the showroom and then uh, we got two Polaris's here. We got another Razor. And this is, uh, oh, what is this thing? It's uh, it's a Polaris General. I don't know. This is quite the interesting little machine. It's kind of like a work slash play machine. I, know, I like it a lot. If I was in the market for one of these or like a, a more work slash play kind of side by side, this is probably what I'd buy. That or Can-Am, either one. Because Can-Am makes something very, very similar to this. I can't remember what it's exactly called, but uh, it's pretty dang close. I just realized we have all Polaris in the shop here. Don't worry. We're getting some Can-Am and uh, Yamaha in very, very soon. Hopefully some Outlanders. We've been uh, on the list for a long time, but it's taken forever. Got another Razor here. This one is crazy fast. Like probably one of the fastest I've ever driven. I, I don't even want to try test drive it because uh, I'm probably going to wreck it. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be putting everything out here today. I think the, uh, the Yamaha and the other players here is going to stay out of there, but we are going to put the GMC. Oh, actually, both of these are GMCs. Okay. And they're both Duramaxes, just uh, different years. Man, I love this Duramax so much. It's just so clean. All right, we'll stick it over here by the Ford. There we go. The showroom is starting to look a lot more packed. I'm liking it. But I'm going to say most likely by the end of the week here with the uh, monster truck out of there and this other lifted GMC, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty empty. Need to do a Cummins build very soon. That's going to be the next plan. We've uh, decided the next mud truck we're going to be building for the shop is going to be a Cummins. And it's going to probably be even crazier than this one. So the guys should be here any minute and uh, they can get working on that Ford there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So the guys are here at the shop. They're working on the truck in there. But we had someone just come in. They're in the showroom right now looking at a bunch of different quads and stuff. But he told me he's interested in trading in this. It's an Arctic cat, I do believe. And I told him I'd have to take it for a test drive before I uh, considered a trade in here. So that's what we're going to do right now. There we go. Got the ramps unfolded. This thing has got to be the weirdest quad I have seen in, in a while. It is just the... I don't know. I mean, it starts up good. Reverse is good. Forward's good. It doesn't necessarily have the craziest power on it. It's apparently a mud pro or something. I don't know about this thing. <laughs> Maybe if there wasn't that super weird snorkel on the top, I think it would be cooler. But hold on. Let me take a look at this snorkel here. That is just the weirdest snorkel I've ever seen. I don't, I've just never seen a machine like this, so I don't know. I don't even know what this thing would be worth, I guess. Or it depends what he wants to trade it in for. But this is just a super weird machine. Well, I guess I'll go into the dealership there and uh, see what he wants to trade for. And I don't know. Maybe we can make a deal. I don't even know if I'd want this thing out in the showroom. It, it's just a weird machine. No offense to any of the Articat riders, but I don't know about this one. All right, so the guy settled on trading in his quad for this thing. Players Ranger 1000, he's in the office doing paperwork right now, but uh, I obviously told him we couldn't do a full straight across trade for this thing for uh, that quad there. So he had to pay a bit extra because this thing is worth a heck of a lot more than that little quad there. But he was happy to do that. So I guess we're just going to take this thing right on out of there and uh, load it up for him. I got it in the showroom like 10 minutes ago, and now it's already sold. Oh, well. All right. Is this thing going to fit on the trailer? It should just barely. Yep. It's going to. Perfect. Guy drives a Jeep Rubicon. Interesting little uh, vehicle. I don't know. When they're done right, I think they can actually be pretty cool vehicles. But uh, if they're not, well, eh, it don't really look the best. But uh, let's get this thing put behind the shop there. I'll have to have the guys go through it. Obviously, once they're done their crazy build there, but uh, I don't know about this thing. It's interesting. Maybe if the colors were a little bit different, it would look better, but uh, it's just not my kind of machine. Maybe we'll take it out mudding and just see how it does. 
All right, so it's been a few days here, and the guys have been working nonstop on that truck there. I think they've actually gotten the paint booth right now, so it's really, really close to being done. So hopefully it'll be done by tomorrow, and apparently this is how they're parking now. Really? Anyway, I think I should probably do some mowing around the lot here, because it is looking pretty dang tall. Yeah. All right, I may do some of that, but hopefully the truck's done soon, so I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, well, it is the next day here. It is very early in the morning. And late last night, the guys got done what we have now dubbed as Super 6. So we get to go check it out and test drive it as normal. All right, and tag gum. This thing turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Got the custom bumper, the custom light pods. Look at this thing. Big custom roof rack, light bars. We got everything on this truck. Um, I don't think it's going to be doing too much towing, considering the uh, drop hitch is not really a, a drop hitch. I think we need to have one coming to like at least down here probably to uh, pull anything decently. But oh man, this thing is super cool. So we had to get some new body panels for this thing. And uh, unfortunately, we had to switch around this stuff to a Lariat. So uh, not too bad. I mean, it's an F-350 now, but technically it's an F-450. Not really a big difference because we had to switch the entire chassis out. We uh, did a bunch of work to the motor. We uh, pretty much swapped out everything we could on this. Other than the doors, the kind of mirrors, we did a little bit of work on that. Entire new custom body back here. Like this thing is an absolute beast. But uh, now, most importantly, we get to drive it. And man, oh man, is this thing tall. Oh, this is quite the truck. And we get to go actually put it in the uh, showroom which is even better. Oh man, look at this thing compared to the old 6.0. It's huge. Oh, this is so great. Who thought an old farm truck could turn into something like this? Oh, also we got a custom hood, which is even better. But dadgum, we got to put some branding on the side of this truck to uh, let people know it's ours. But uh, I think this one is going to sell pretty quick. We have uh, quite a lot of guys that would like a build like this. And uh, yeah, this is definitely something interesting. But uh, I think it's time to put this thing in the showroom. We actually got to take out that uh, red GMC today. So that works out pretty good. But the next build we got coming is a massive mud truck. We got some parts ordered for it. Now we're actually evening out the amount of GMCs the Fords in here. But the guy finally gets to come pick up his uh, SEMA build today. After a few months, he uh, gets to come pick this nice thing up. So we'll just put it back here, ready and waiting for him. And uh, we'll get this thing moved into the front uh, window here. But everybody sees when they drive right in. There we go. That should be good right there. Also, if you guys have any suggestions to what we should build next, put it down in the comments and uh, we may do that. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next Cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long.